Right, so I haven't simulated since last time, not because I'm lazy, but because these two games are actually very important. In today's episode, we are covering the Europa League quarterfinal second leg against Shakhtar, and then the FA Cup semi-final against Wolves. Two cups that we could get knocked out of very swiftly. I'm hoping that we can at least stay in one of them. Hello guys and welcome back to the 17th episode of the Jurgen Klopp Challenge with Watford where today we are playing in the Europa League and the FA Cup semi-final against Shakhtar and Wolves as I've already said. So since last time out we've done absolutely nothing, just sat here, you know, simulated a wee bit, did a little bit of uni work in between, it's not going very well but that's my problem, not yours. Uh, but basically we picking up exactly from where we left off, so I'm not really going to mess around. We're going to jump straight into it. This is the game that we are playing. This is the team that we are using. It is rotated, yes. Should it be this rotated? Probably not, but I actually care more about the FA Cup than the Europa League. Which, now that I'm saying out loud, is mental. Yeah, because the Europa League could get us to the Champions League. I, I still kind of back this team, but... I might make one switch now, actually. Come to think of it. Maybe, maybe Sark. No, Sark's quite tired. No, I'm back in this team. Apart from Decora. He's been playing too well. Let's jump straight into it. Hopefully my slight rotation doesn't kill us in this game too much. Because, yeah, on review, this, this tournament's more important. But, uh, uh, actually, to be fair, in the FA Cup, I think uh, the other teams in it are Southampton and uh norwich as well as uh wolves and then in this one there's bayern munich manchester united and uh villarreal or, Se or Sevilla. so you know realistically i think we have more of a chance of winning the fa cup and if they scored there we would certainly be having more of a chance of winning the fa cup early on they look to be the better side with not as much position, but more shots, and I think that we are finally, you know, finding our feet in this game. Decore with a good rating so far, and hopefully here, we will have our first opportunity. As he clears it out, plays it out wide. No, I don't think it's going to be our opportunity. Come on, prove me wrong, Cedric. No. No, you'd like to think that Trippier would make that tackle. Actually, he's ended up making a tackle. Eventually, we get it through to Haaland. Oh, I was about to, I was so prepared to say, who doesn't miss from that sort of range. But he did, so I'm happy that I didn't say that, because I would have looked like an idiot, but I'm not happy that he didn't score. So, you know, mix, mixed emotions, mixed emotions, to say the least. Uh, I mean, as things stands, we are going through, so, I mean, if we do end up getting in a little draw, I'm not going to complain, because, you know, we, we've got them on away goals currently. As long as we keep a clean sheet, you know, have a good, a good defensive mind right now, I think I'm pretty happy with how this game is going. I mean, I would like to have bagged a goal by now, but that's, you know, you know, beggars can't be choosers. As long as we go through to the next round, I don't care how we do it. They're coming at us now, though, and if we could pick up the ball at some point, that would be very lovely. Good job, Messina. He's listening. He, he knows what's up. Yeah, I forgot to say, when you get it, don't lose it straight afterwards, you, you know, play it forward or backwards, I, as long as you keep a hold of it, you're lucky that we didn't end up conceding off that, and you're lucky that Harlan knows how to find the back of the net, because we have just gone 1-0 up, Delafay with the ball into the middle, Harland, now I can say it, does not miss from that kind of range, well, he's proven today that he, he can miss from that kind of range, but he doesn't in that situation, and that's all that matters, he gets his first goal of the match, of the episode, and to be honest, it might not be his last Oh, actually, could be rotating the squad, I don't know. Delafay whips the ball in, and Decore whiskers the shot past the post. And I think I am going to make a substitution now in uh, with the next game in mind. And the first one is certainly going to be Decore coming off. Love that man, playing amazingly lately. But unfortunately, you know, need to keep him fit. That is how it works in this game, and, and in real life. It's a very in-depth game. And it looks like if we are going through to the next round, you know, touch wood, I feel like we're pretty good in uh, I feel like we have pretty good chances of getting through at this point. But I think we are going to be facing Villarreal because currently they are winning on aggregate. And if Haaland scores here, oh, 
I mean, he's playing well, but you know, it's it it really should have been two goals for us there. Could have even been three with all the chances he's had. I'm actually going to make a substitution. Don't really care about how this uh, highlight goes. Gurdjieff can come on. Joel Pedro can come on as well. Even though Holland has actually had a pretty solid game, you know, I want to rest him. And uh, he does play a nice ball in. I think that was to. I want to say Queener. I think it was Queener. Is Queener number 20? I feel like he's not. I have no idea. Maybe Jordan Ibe. No, he wouldn't be that far on the right. Oh, he would be. He's Jordan Ibe. He does what he wants. I don't score in the last few minutes. Like, that would be really annoying. It would be really annoying. Type. Oh, that's real. No, that's... Nah, come on. That's really annoying, man. It's just... It's just... A, yeah. Well... I can't think of any other words, but that just is annoying. Like, it's inconvenient. That's just a substitute for annoying, isn't it? Oh, for goodness sake. Now we're going to have to go to bloody extra time. I can't be bothered. I'm going to get aggressive with them. Now, now I'm not happy. Now I'm not happy. We haven't played well out there. Well, I mean, we had until you let that happen in the last few minutes. I can't be bothered going to, going to penalties. My heart can't take it. I can't be bothered. I don't, I don't have the time for it, you know, I'm, I'm a busy man, eventually Queener does get the ball from a good pullback from Dallafeu, but we can't put it into the back of the net, and if we do end up winning this, we will be facing Villarreal, and we know that for certain now, and we're jumping straight into the next half of extra time, surely we get to make a substitution, because Queener is about as knackered as, what's something that's knackered, an old man? Is an old man tired? Yeah, we'll go with that. We'll go with that. Good, good, good analogy, Raxo. Good analogy. Sa can't play in that position. I can't play in the position. I can't play in that position. No one can play in that position. But I, I need to take him off. He's, he's the tired one. Maybe we'll go for like something asymmetrical. I can play in Cam, can't he? Yeah, well enough. And we'll play him as a shadow striker. Sounds good to me. You know, I'm, I'm making this episode longer than it needs to be, I apologise. And we'll try that, and see how it goes for the last few minutes. Come on, boys. We need to make sure that we come away with this win. If we score a goal, that'd be good. If we do it through penalties, that would also be fine. As long as we come away with the win and don't concede. <sighs> oh. Took my breath away there. Donnarumma, great save. And it looks like they are really dominating the game right now. And, I mean, I, d I don't feel like, you know, I've... I've done a bad team selection for this game or anything. I feel like this really just is down to a bit of bad luck at this point, and we are looking like we're going to penalties. And, uh, yeah, I'm going to have to pick the order. Saar has missed his last two penalties. So, obviously, I'm going to put Dalafleu first for a bit of, you know, confidence. Then maybe Jao Pedro. Then Bruno. Then Cedric. Uh, actually no, let's get Sar on, yeah there, uh, where's, where's Delfo, there we go, chuck him in third, so get him above there, and then get Dawson in there, Gurdjic, actually we'll put Gurdjic in front of him, I know that you guys are probably all like, Raxo, just, just show us the penalties, and I will do it now, but we'll win, because of that order. Jal Pedro standing up for the first penalty. I put him on first because of this reason. He puts it into the bottom corner. Tactical genius, I'm telling you that much for free. Balotelli steps up to the plate, facing his other uh, Italian friend. Might not know Donnarumma, but, you know, maybe he does. You don't know what's going on in behind the... <laughs> speak. Going on behind the scenes, but we need to focus on this penalty. Bruno does score it. Unfortunately, we can't get a save in the first one. Maybe we can get one in this one. Gamero standing up to the plate. A very good player for them. And Donnarumma does not make the save. I thought as he dived the right way, he was going to get a hand to it. But unfortunately, he can't get anything on it. And Delafoe has to score this one. And he does. Three goals to two. No one's missed a penalty so far. Come on. Marcus. Is that Marcus Alonso? That can't be Marcus Alonso. He is not that dark skin. There's nothing, no, you know, just, oh, I think that's Marcus Antonio, yes, I think that is. He scored either way. Cedric, don't miss, please. Oh, I had never had any doubt. Definitely didn't think that hit the post. Definitely didn't think that hit the post. They're standing up for one. Come on, someone miss, please. Oh, for goodness sakes. 
my tactical genius is amazing, but theirs seems to be just as good. Sir, you've missed two penalties in a row. Don't make it three. He doesn't, and we've converted all of our five penalties. Now we just need to save one. Donnarumma. Please. I can't be bothered watching any more of <laughs> No, no, I just want to go through to the next round. Come on. You're the man that we paid the most amount of money for. Or maybe we paid more for Haaland. But for this argument, we paid the most amount of money for you, but you didn't come away with the save. And now we're going into the sixth and seventh, well, potentially seventh, penalty takers for us as we go into sudden death. And I think we've been knocked out of the Europa League, boys and girls. Because Tyson ran past our whole team. And now he's taking the penalty to win it. Gurdjic, man. Oh, we don't deserve to be knocked out. That's the only thing that really annoys me. We just, like, we haven't been outplayed here. Tyson stands up and scores. And they're into the semi-final and we're knocked out. Oh, that is infuriating. We should not have lost that game. And I guess, you know, that's the way the cookie crumbles in football sometimes. And I'll hold my hand up and say, yeah, that's, you know, it's sometimes the luck of the draw. But on that day, the way we played, even with a slightly rotated squad, we shouldn't have lost that, even on penalties. And Gurdjic, you know, I've, I've been thinking about signing you for only $25 million, because we do have an option to buy him, by the way. But, mate, I'm not really thinking about that anymore i mean it's pretty harsh to judge him based off just that but gosh i'm always going to hold that grudge well i guess we well, the only thing we can do is move forward move on and hopefully we can come away with a win against wolf in not wolf wolves in the semi-final of the fa cup come on don't let this one go to penalties please well, I'm certainly hoping for a better result, and we will be facing Norwich in the final if we do win against Wolves today as they won on penalties against Southampton. Would have preferred to face Southampton because they're in the championship, but that's, you know, the way the cookie crumbles, and obviously today we haven't exactly had the luck on our side. But Norwich, still a very beatable squad. This is the team that we're going with. I know you can't see it right now because it's loading up the match, but now you can. You know, just, you know, good things come to those who wake. For goodness sake, guys, come on, show a bit of patience. <laughs> they have a pretty good lineup actually. Uh Papastatopoulos uh in defense is the only player that isn't actually uh Wolves one in real life. But you know, the Wolves team in real life is pretty stacked and of course I'm going with my normal the media have been on your side. Make sure you prove them right out there and we're gonna crack straight into it. I am, you know, feeling very hopeful about this game. I, you know, I'm quite confident that we'll come away with the win, but I was very confident that we would come away with the win in the last one, so I'm not really ready to have my ego, you know, taken that big of a hit at the moment, to be completely honest with you guys, but either way, very excited for this game. Straight off the bat, we can see that Wolves had an opportunity, didn't even bother commentating on it because it was just shocking. But this chance is going to be top, top quality, and I was bang on the money. Danny Olmo puts it into the back of the net. The two Spanish men linking up Angelino, Danny Olmo, and it is the first goal of the semi-final. And uh, gosh, I just, I just, just have this psychic power. I know, I know exactly when it's going to be a good opportunity for us. A great hit by Danny Olmo, puts it straight into the back of the net, and it is 1-0 on the day. We have yet another opportunity, and it is a corner for us. And eventually, after a lot of bouncing around, it comes out to Meisger, who puts it into the back of the net. And gosh, we are flying in this FA Cup semi final. I mean, we're going all the way to Wembley, and you know, it, I think last time I called it quite early. This time, I'm pretty confident. 2 0 after 20 minutes. We don't look like we're calming down. And I know, I know we're already at Wembley, but we'll be going back to Wembley for the final. Donnarumma confirms that with that save. I was a little nervous when it went towards him, but it actually could be our highlight yet. Meisger, the goal scorer, plays it out to Angelino, who's already gotten an assist in this game. Maybe he can get another one if Saar dribbles past the entire team. No, he was unselfish in pass. Good, good call, mate. And eventually Haaland goes in on goal, but can't get it past the goalkeeper. Great move by us. Not quite the final product that we needed but you know you can't complain we're still two goals to the good and as half time approaches 
I'm thinking it's going to be a let's not get complacent out there as per usual. Come on, boys. This is a very good result so far. If we keep going exactly the way that we are, we will be in the FA Cup final. And, you know, as I said at the start of the episode, that's the competition I always wanted to be in. You know, it's the only one I cared about, realistically. Oh, for goodness sake. Trippier shoots it just wide there. A very good free kick from him. We know from the English World Cup how good he can hit them. And actually, just from, you know, him in this series, we know he can hit them. I don't know if he, you guys have seen any on camera, but, you know, he's definitely hit a few for me. And we've just gone 3-0 up through Gabriel Barbosa playing on that inside forward role. You know, I was very nervous about signing him at the start of the season. But I tell you what, it just... You know, even after signing Haaland, I really thought he wasn't going to be able to do anything, but he's really turned into an amazing right winger for us. He comes in at striker as well every now and then and does a good job. He's he's probably been my surprise of the season, that's for sure. And I'm very happy that I did pick him up for a very cheap price as well. Angelino plays out to Decore and eventually comes back to him, and we're in with another opportunity. Danny Olmo gets his second of the game, and it is 4-0. And I tell you what, last time we played Wolves, we beat them 6-0. Who knows, it could go to that sort of tally again today as Danny Olmo puts it into the back of the net. Trippier with a very easy assist, a bit of a Sergio Busquets-esque assist, but uh, we don't mind that as well uh, at all. As long as the ball ends up into the back of the net, we will take it. I have no idea why they're playing Ruddy though. Like, I mean, I know that you play your cup goalkeeper, but seriously, like... With all due respect, John Ruddy, he's, he's not quite Rui Patricio, is he? And in an FA Cup semi-final, you would kind of expect to play a pretty solid side. I'm, I'm, I'm sorry, that's just, it's just my personal opinion. We're going to make some substitutions now, though, and Haaland is actually going to make way. Even though he's played, you know, pretty well as per usual, hasn't picked up a goal yet. But, I, you know, I really want to give Joel Pedro a crack in this side. He has turned into a great player this year for us, but I think that's all the management we need to do. We're just riding it out, and we are going all the way to Wembley once again for the FA Cup final against Norwich. And that was a very convincing win. If only we could have done that in the last game. Not bitter about it at all. And we will have the confirmation right there. Watford to play Norwich in the FA Cup final. And that should be all the way at the very end of the season. But for now, we finally get to refocus on the league for a very extended period of time. And obviously, because this challenge is all about winning the Champions League and winning the Premier League. Which, you know, we still have an outside chance of doing this year. If we win all of our games in hand, we will only be... Three point, no, not three points, work out your mess. five points away from Manchester City, which isn't bad, but, you know, it's probably not the position that we want to be in, but obviously we can build off that. I think that Champions League spots are very doable right now, but we need to make sure that we do get them, and we need to make sure that we pick up all the points that we can get, but for now, that is where we're ending it, I'll probably pick it back up. And not too long. Who's who's the next interesting game that we're facing? One, two, three, four, five. Maybe I'll pick it up for Chelsea and West Ham, and then we'll do Manchester United and Leicester to end the season, and do FA Cup as the you know season finale. But that is where we're going to end this episode. Make sure to let me know what you guys want to see out of these games in the comments below. But as per usual, make sure to like and subscribe if you're new around here for daily football manager content. And I will see you all later.